Yeah. Not yet. I'm just downloading um the same thing you're downloading. What are you gonna send it to me? Yeah man, just a waste of time, too much. You better you you see the turn, allow the the turn to see it. I'll collect the files just the same. to see all right stay on the line let me let me let me let me call you back I'm doing a programming I'm trying to start a car online let me call you back okay the guy come today and pick up the eye come and all of that stuff so let me let me call you back let me let me talk to this guy here I'll call you back okay when I finish program I'll restart this car I'm just re resetting the phone while it right now but I have to talk to him and tell him what to do. Huh? Yeah? I don't hear what you say. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you want, oh, you want my team here? Okay, no problem. Oh, right, type in 951. Hey, you, you wanna see you wanna see my screen? All right, all right. If the guy is calling me here. Just wait, let me answer. We are gonna put you on merge, okay? Alright. Now put you on merge. Hello? Yeah. I put you on hold. Wait. Yeah, you're doing, buddy. All right, turn off the ignition now. The, 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 the reset volume uh, was done successfully. Turn off the ignition key. For about 15 seconds or 30 seconds, let's turn it off. You want it off? Tell me how many seconds off for the stopwatch 
No, just turn off turn off the ignition now. Just turn off the ignition now. About 30 seconds. You're starting now what? Uh, I have a stopwatch running here. Okay, how much second gone now? It's uh, basically it's, um, 14 seconds of my mind. Okay, yeah. Alright, turn on terminal 15 now. Turn on ignition now. But don't start it. Just turn it on. Turn it on right now? Okay. Yeah, turn on terminal 15. Don't try to start it yet. Alright, ignition on. Alright, put your foot on the brake now and start it. It should start. Yes, go ahead, put your foot on the brake and start the car, it should start. And there it goes. Just like that. Okay, way to go, way to go. Way to go. I haven't been using this car for a while. Yeah, hold on now. Uh, David? David. What, what, what do you say? How long now? Huh? How long have the car not been running? Okay, David. Running. Oh, my friend was want to say it's done, but it's gone. <laughs> but David. Yeah. I made the video, man. I can give you the video. All right, I'm going to let you be the video, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm going to make you be the video, um, my friend. I'll let the video because... Yeah, because I click on the next button before you told me that you want to see it and then now it, it give me the instruction to do some more turn off terminal 15 and let whatever reset and blah 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 and so on and so forth. Alright, uh, George, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is George. Uh, this you want to continue with your, uh, your money on the phone there? Yeah. Uh, we can, you know, we can continue tomorrow. I told him if you want to go, then I can talk to you about those tomorrow. Yeah. So finish up with him and then we'll, uh, all right, no problem. Cool. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Every time. Cool. David? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make the video. I'll make you see the video because I make a video of it. You know? All we're going to have to do, though, is just send me the video and Skype. I'll download Skype. Yeah, I'll try to do that, yeah. No, um, he purchased the. He saw my listing on eBay, so he called my phone number or he saw it on um, YouTube, and then he called my number, and then um, he basically said he wanted the car to start, and he needed the program. He said that he have a white cable, so therefore now um, we have uh, we um, he come over here. He, well, I installed the software for him yesterday. And um, he come here today to pick up the icon and he paid me for both icon and software and so on. But he kind of get underpriced, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, a Cuban guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Cuba, you know? He's an island guy like ourselves, you know? David? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's from the island, so he's from Cuba, you know? Yeah, so um, okay, okay. I'm trying to sort out some other stuff here. You say you have a steering angle problem sensor. You want to view the screen? Yeah. Right. All right. Type in this. Type in. Type in one two one two six. David. No man, yeah, I'm gonna try to. No, I'm gonna I want you to look at the screen if you want to still look. No problem.
All right, six eight five. Three nine five. Listen carefully, David. I said six eight five. Six eight one. Nine seven nine. All right, just type in the password is seven fifty seven. What? Hello. Yeah. The password is seven 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 fifty seven H Z S. Alright, 685 is the first read. I send them in a text file to you. I send them in a text. What? What you see? Are you seeing the screen? Okay, then click on the download icon at the top there, man. Then the don't turn arrow and update it. It, it, it does it do it very quick. In the test model, we just needed the car starting now, it's running so we just um, we just going some, through some other codes and calculate the test plan. But uh, motor on the left, ABL, blah blah blah. Let me check out this one. I'm right, we'll going service function here. All right, let me show you what we did. We we'll go here, let me go back and do all. Uh, let me show you where we're coming from in service function. We we'll click on poetry model and then we we'll click on engine electronics, then we we'll click on adapt adjustment adaptation. And then DME cast, we do this and start search. And then we click on that one that says ABL cast interface, and that's what we use to do the car. I can't go over that part because we're gonna turn off the car and thinking that we're gonna create a procedure to start the car. So we, I can click on that and then click display at the bottom. I have to get out of that because the problem is already solved. And so you understand? So that's what we do, yeah. and then um well, what we're gonna go in, what I'm gonna do now, we can look at real time policy and DME by click on that and click on call up ECU function. And then um, wait until it load up and this is it. Your diagnosis scan, we can also trigger components here. You can trigger the electric fan, the e box fan, electrical pump, fuel injectors. But those are already running, these are those you know conditions that we can turn on if they are. We can turn on engine operating values, we can turn on those, click on those, and then we we click read at the bottom and then you will see the display comes out like that there. Yeah, so we can see what the air mass kilogram per hour is and the air mass and you know I can see both of them bank one bank two. So so you know if this car has some problem but now the problem is solved and he's happy. So. Okay, so we turn we press read state to turn it off and then we uncheck all those or just press uncheck all. Turn on volume. We can look at the Venus readout and all banks here. We can turn on this one and look at what it is doing here. And, um, so we can undo that, turn that off, and we can go back and do all. And we can go to turtle valve, and we can see. We can look at turtle valve, bank one, read the state, it tells us the percent of the present opening of the turtle press restate again to turn it off 
we also can look at bank too and see the bodies are running right in the building. Alright, that's a 20%, 2 tenths of 1%. Uh, 2 tenths of what they believe. And then we press undo power. So we can go in um, injection period, so we can go here. Cylinder, uh, how much we could, this is all, we, they say the fire is a V10. Oh, they seem to be big, sure. We can look at the injector time positive and the quantity that is being put in the engine. We can really see it up right now. There they are. The injectors are opening um, 2 point whatever millisecond. That's how short. That's how quick they open. Yeah. Back, yeah. So those are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because your car is different, so the, the files that read out these data will be different. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, all the files will be different on, on your side and so on. So we're going to read out now. I'll activate the bank one. After yeah, all I don't remember, uh, I don't remember, uh, we got a gas plant. Yeah, we need to go Oh, it's there, man. It's there. Oh, I don't install it for him. We can click on um we can click on the radio controller here we can turn up all the volume if you so choose You can meet the radio. You can do all the stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I'm not going to do it because I'm not near to listen to the, the feedback, so I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to run, um, I'm going to run Easter B now. I'm going to minimize this. Let me look at I2 radar, let me see if it sees the icon. Oh, there goes the free. Let me run East of Big. Why do you use the ICOM and the Oh, for the Y cable, the K plus D can cable. Yeah, it's. Ah, uh, maybe that's why I'm like. Maybe that's why my expert don't work if I use that emulator for that cable, it might work. Yeah, that only work with this stuff, Emayu. Oh, it's better actually putting in the icon, plug in the, the, the key, and you can cable. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. This is an old version too. I can stop the blue button blue over there. My only used to come up in green. Yeah. No big deal. They still have music in the car right now? Yeah. Yeah. So how are you stabilizing the battery? The engine is running. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay. Dorothy, if he did it, let me call him, dude, and, um... Yeah, this guy's coming over here to pick up some parts for me, so... I don't know, I'm trying to deal with him, and then come back in the house. Okay, yeah. you're gonna hang up? Yeah, I'm gonna hang up, because it's a long time to see what's going on, because there's no more. All right, do you think? Uh, I'll call him back, I'll call him. Ah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Hey, did, did, yeah, did you plug in the mouse connector? I'm sorry, could you repeat? Yeah, did you plug in the mouse connector B to the car? The, um, OB, um, did you plug in the, the fiber optic connector, the connector B in the glove compartment? Oh, no, no I, I do not have a connector. You need me a connector? I give you the connector, of course. You get everything. No, no. Yeah, you can connect it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Do I need to shut off the car to do that, or? Um, no, you can connect it as it is. All right, let me uh, let me go get it, and well, let me first find the plug. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait a minute. Tell her what. Um, the, the shut out the car engine. Okay, and the terminal fifteen. Okay, just to save the reasons. You need to shut it off, or? Yeah, I mean, you can shut out the car for now. Just turn it off for now. No big deal. And turn off the tur turn off the ignition and take out the key, okay? I turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. And then put on the connector on it, for, put on the, the mouse bus on it, and then we're right. I'm just testing out the, the programming side of the software, but I want to show you some things as well. Do, um, um, I disconnected the charger as soon as the car started. Do I put the charger back on? Or no, 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 no. You do not have to put the charger back on. The, the car can run and charge the battery, okay? As long as the fumes is not troubling your household. Yes, 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 connect the fire button, yeah.
All right, you're kind of good. Hello, take a picture of it and send it to me. Take a picture of what you see and send it to me, okay? Yeah, that is it. That's the right thing you have. Yes, yeah, stop. We yeah, have put the connector in it. Yeah, put that in the connector. But there's no, there's no, nothing inside of that connector. There's only two electrical wires on the side. And it doesn't look like no plug into anything on here. Look here. Listen to me, man. The connector B you have, you have to slide that thing in it. Okay? All right. Yeah. Orientate it properly until it fits down into it. It's supposed to fit down into it and slide down into it, it easy and you hear a click. Turn it around. I, I did that. It, does, it doesn't go inside. Actually, this, this plug is almost the exact same width of the other one, so it'll never fit inside because it's the same width of the case of the most adapter. Really? George. It looks like it is not installed there or it may be located elsewhere, you know? Okay. Alright, alright. You can start by the car engine for me. Yeah, they can be reprogrammed. Yep. The key fob. Yeah, the key fob can be reprogrammed.
All right, look on the screen here. You see that it creates a it, 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 it determine that the cast on a program and then code. So you know you don't have to accept that because the car is starting and running and so on. If we determine the measures plan, we can determine the measures plan to see what it determines for the cast unit. And when it does, it's gonna include the voice input and it's gonna want to ask for FSC code to reactivate those things on the mouse bus. Okay. Okay. And we can't go through with that measures plan because every time we choose to remove something out of the mouse gateway. It is going to add it back such as the B or the voice input and in so doing we do not have FSC code and we are not connected to the mouse bus. You understand? Uh -huh. So we have to locate the mouse connector first on the car and we also have to um, get the FSC code for your car chassis number and then we could use that and go forward to program. Um, well the cast, the cast does not need FSC code but just because you're going to program the cast it's going to also try to um, update the voice input for um, for other stuff okay okay so if you want to I don't know if you want to re re reject the measures plan I, I I go back I back out of it the, 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 to go to program the battery or check the battery if it's correct yeah we can we can we can check the battery okay okay Okay, when, when we do so now, we're going to um, try to click on the vehicle tab. You see it highlighted now in white? Hello? Yeah. You remember what I was telling you about on P that when you're finished reading out the vehicle data or the identified fitted control units, you see that the vehicle tab on maintenance highlighted now in the color white? Okay. Yeah, so what we do now, we just click on... Um, we click on vehicle at the top i did it already and then we can now go to um conversion what ampere or rating battery you have there let me uh let me pop the truck Yes, David. David? Yeah, Bob. What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. I'm still looking on the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy I can't even drop it off by y'all. Huh? The guy dropped the car off by y'all. No, no, hell no. The car is all the way about 30 miles from me or 25 miles away from me. It's getting all the way to Kendall. <laughs> That's at the guy's house. Yeah, it's at his house, yeah. Yeah, it's at his house, yes, sir. Well, you gotta finish up the video for me and put it tomorrow, man. I'm gonna head home now. Power, yeah. Okay. Um. 
9 to 5, one per hour, okay. Come again? That that the, the battery I put in the car, the battery that I bought. Yeah. It's not an original BMW battery. BMW wanted three hundred and eighty five dollars for the battery, and then they wanted a hundred and fifty bucks for the programming. I'm like, okay, thank you. Have a nice day. So I I bought a battery, which is the AGM battery. Um, and everything I read, you know, the manual and stuff, that it has to be uh, better than 80, 80 amps or for the regular or 90 for the uh, uh, AGM. And this particular battery has 95 amp hour rate. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to write that in now. You see how I do it? Uh, I am going to do it with the software now. You see? Yeah, I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, this is the plan. That is the measures plan created for it, right here. Okay. No, it's only 10, but no, two left. Okay. Yeah, I save it. You'll get it. It's on your computer. I save it. I, I, I'll locate them when we finish, okay? Okay, come on. So the, uh, the connection with the uh, most adapter, what, what did you mean? Uh, that goes to change what? No. It's not to change anything, it's to connect it to it. That's, that that means if we're going to program the entire car and items and infotainment is included, then those have to be programmed over Ethernet. And the fiber optic is what carries the speeds for Ethernet. So therefore, we cannot program the entire car or even update it to the latest high level because we okay. do not connect to the mouse connector because we do not find it, you know? Okay. We are just adding a 90 amp hour battery to the car, okay? Okay. Yeah, let me tell you, in the winter, whoever doesn't have a, doesn't have a good heater, they, they might want to be sorry, it's going to be perfect for them. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever driven an M5? Huh? Have you ever driven an M5? If I ever program an M5? No, no. Have, have you driven one? Oh, you no. Chance, right? No, no. I never driven one before. No. Yeah, it's, it's a vicious machine. Let me tell you. Yeah. It's, uh, don't ask me about gas mileage because you don't buy these cars because you're worried about gas mileage. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it has a 506 horsepower. Well, there's absolutely nothing to it. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a rocket ship. I mean, um, as a matter of fact, the transmission in this car is the same transmission they put in the Ferrari. Okay, V10. It's a V10, right? Yeah, it's a V10. Oh, that's a lot of gas, man. Yeah. It, uh, in the city, it does like uh, 14 miles to the gallon. So on the highway, it's pretty good. On the highway, it does like 23, 24. Okay. But in the city, in the city because you know what happens is uh, when the engine's running at low RPM, uh, that's when all the, you know, all the cylinders are firing and all the injectors are at their peak and stuff because 
When you push the pedal, that means you want the boat, and it goes. It goes like a bat out of hell. Okay. All right. Look on the computer screen. You're looking. Yeah. No, no. Finish your remote key with remote control from keypad. Okay. Okay. Good. Do you want me to shut it up now? Yeah. Do it now. Yeah. Just stay nearby, okay? Yeah. Turn it back on. <clears throat> just, just start the engine, okay? Uh, do I start or I just turn just the engine? Just uh, start the engine. Just start the engine, please. Let's do it. Faulty. No, don't worry. I'll try. To re I, will, I will try to recalibrate it. Don't worry. Before you connected, I was kind of navigating within the uh, the ESA uh, D program, and I had seen a few screens that wasn't sure what I was seeing, but just to check it out, I was pushing great, 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 great. Okay.
Hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay, well, we finished programming the battery. Okay. Yeah, so we can close this off for now. I'm going to try to do steering angle sensor, okay? Okay. Uh, so it looks like my alternator is fine because it's charging like uh, 13, 8, 14, 15. Yes, sir. So yeah, uh, with, uh, with the other battery, you know, before... Is the steering wheel straight? Um, hold on one second. It's a little bit off. Yeah. There it's um, straight there. Just, just look on the screen and then you try to set it to 0, 0.0, okay? Are you straightening the steering? Yeah. No, no, I'm not touching it. It's already straight, but I haven't touched it. Just look on the computer screen. You will see the degrees that it's 1.7 degrees to the right. Look a bit. Just touch it back to the left until you see it be 0.0. .0. I turn it all the way left. Look, to, look on the computer screen. The angle degrees is reflecting in the software when you turn it. Just look what you're doing. Okay. So you want me to move it now? Or? Look here, are you understanding what I'm saying to you, man? I'm no, saying... The thing is with, with, the car, with the car running and your Bluetooth, I think it's kind of cutting out, so I'm not hearing everything so clear. Alright, listen to me now. The computer, is it facing you? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yes, turn the steering wheel until you get zero degrees on it. Oh, so it gets zero. Okay, no, that's what I couldn't understand. We want it to be zero. Where we gonna know? Let this the um, the, uh, the ECU read out that angle, and in so doing, it will calibrate it when it's at zero. Okay. Okay. Kind of really cooler than the gun. You have to take time. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. It's very sensitive. Okay. Back to like the previous spot, you know, like 
back a little bit. Yeah, leave it still like that. Leave it right at zero point. Man, you take too long to do that, you know, man. You take too, you take it, you take it, you're turning the steering too much. Just basically push it in one direction, just kind of ease it. Yeah, let it stay right there, okay? Watch it, you keep it. Alright, let it stay. Let it stay right there. Yeah, that's it. I, I can't get it any better than that because then it just jumps up to like... Alright, alright, alright. Let, let let go of the steering. It's okay? It, don't touch it, okay? I'm not touching it. Alright, very good, sir. very good. Just leave it like that. Let me do what I'm going to do on the other side here. Go ahead, service plan. Now, when, when I put that up, when you know, I set it at that, the wheel is not like perfectly straight. It seems like it's a little bit off. Yeah. All right, it's done properly, okay? Okay. Yeah, this function is finished, so the file code is supposed to be clear. Okay, car is perfect now, okay? Okay. Yeah, all control units in green, no fault codes. This is an $100 job. Uh -huh. This is an $100 job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's over now, okay? Okay, my friend. So uh, I'm going to do the, the document and stuff that you saved and uh, if I have any questions, let me know. Alright, yeah, let me test import, let me test import, let me save those software reconnected. 